Hey everyone, it's Desiree. And I am here with a new collection uh, with spell, through Spellbinders, and it's called Let's Celebrate, and it's by Giannis Makula. So you know there's going to be some beautiful florals, like this one. This die here that we will be using is called Peony Celebration. The better press plate that will be used is called Floral Celebration. And then there is a coordinating stencil set. It is a six layer stencil that coordinates with that better press plate. And I'm gonna show two different ways on how we can use that better press plate. Again, always looking how we can stretch our supplies, those different ways we can use them instead of the norm. Okay, you guys know me, I like to go against the grain. As with all of the Spellbinder stencils, there are registration marks in each corner and each one is labeled with a number. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm taping a piece of Strathmore mixed media paper and I believe that is in the toned gray, yes. And I am going to use this plate to emboss. So following the layers required for the standard platform for my Platinum 6, um, run that through my machine and you get this beautiful impression. It's almost like you get from those beautiful 3D embossing folders. It's deep, it did not cut through, so you wanna make sure you do have a thick cardstock for this. I'm not sure if 80 pound would work. Um, and what I mean by that is it may cut through it um, to really create those indentations. Both of my cards that we will be making today in this video are the standard A2 size, which are four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm just getting my base ready and I'm going to glue that panel right onto that card base once we get our layers done. So from the peony celebration, I used the outline, the cloud, what I like to call the cloud, um, from vellum. And then I took that outline die along with the detailed die, lined them up and die cut through using a matte gold. And I'm just going to layer that matte gold on top of the vellum. Now you can certainly add colors to your vellum if you want. Um, you could have used the die cuts from the gold. You could have die cut it again from white cardstock and colored those uh, die cuts to do die cut inlay. But I really liked how the vellum just pushed back that gray and the peonies were still able to stand out. I did cut die cut three, um, thinking I would need the third, but I really liked the way the two coming in from opposite corners looked on this panel, and I will save that third one for a future card. So just setting these two peony clusters in place, the sentiment that I will be adding to this card is from a Better Press collection called You Are Everything Sentiments. Um, there are some great sentiments there and it covers all occasions, which I think is great. What's also great is the plate is one piece and the die cut plate is one piece. So from one press, one die cut, you're gonna get about nine to 10 different sentiments in one shot. So it's a great way to build up that stash. After I got the peonies attached to the panel, I trimmed around the edge and got that attached to my card base. I chose one of the sentiments and I'm just going to adhere that with my liquid glue in the center. So now we're going to take the, the press plate and we're actually going to do better press. So I'm taking my plate, I'm lining that up. I do like to cut my cardstock a little bit larger 
than the plate. I know some may feel that's wasteful, um, but just in case it shifts or if I shift when I slam that plate down onto the magnets, forgetting how strong they are, I just like to be prepared. I'm going to be using the Better Press Ink Black, and I want to make sure that I've got good coverage on my plate using the press and twist method to make sure that we've got all the ink that we need on there um, and we've got every detail. Now remember, those pads, they are like a fabric pad. They're not a sponge pad, so they will fray just a little bit. You are doing that twisting mechanism. Um, so before you start and after, just make sure there's no fine threads that are loose. You want to make sure that you clean your plates right away. I will use the archival ink cleaner along with a soft cloth um, to wipe that ink away. And the, the impression is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. The cardstock that I used is a Canson XL watercolor paper for this technique. I'm going to take this panel and I'm just going to simply tape it right down to my work surface here. And we are going to start with our stencils. I'll be using my blending brushes to add my color to the stencil. And I've chosen those colors and they are set off to the side. And I will be pulling those in. For some of the colors, I will be using two different colors just so that I can get that blended effect um, on the panel towards the centers. Or I will use the same color and just go a little bit darker in the centers so I can get that difference in color shade. So first we're focusing on the first set of flowers. Our next stencil comes in with the smaller ones. So for the larger florals, I chose a purple. And for the smaller ones that are about the same shape, I chose a peach. So I'm going to come in with a lighter shade and then with a finer detail brush I'm going to come in with the darker, or the same brush, I'm gonna come in with that same amount of ink, but darker. On this same stencil, you have a different shape of flower, which is like a star, and I'm doing those in uh, yellows. Again, coming in with that finer detail brush, just to add a little bit of a deeper color off to the side and towards the center. I'm just using tape to hold my stencils in place and creating like a hinge system so that I can check it first, flip it back, and if there's any areas that I missed, I'll be able to come back in. For the next set of flowers, I chose uh, a pink, a darker shade of pink. And again, just using that one color and then coming in with a little bit more uh, to give a darker shade. Now we're going to start focusing on the greens on our panel and we're going to do the same process. Add our colors using our blending brushes, in some cases adding more towards the bottom so that we can get that variegation. So I did want to take a moment to, to say thank you to everyone uh, for your patience. Um, we just ran into a little snafu. <laughs> um, you can see the there's some videos here that are finally getting released where, yes, both hands are being used um, and we're able to work through. Um, and then some more videos that are gonna come out, you're, you'll see that I'm only using my right hand. So we just had an issue with my left shoulder. Everything is fine. 
Um, it just took a while to uh, get itself healed um, and a lot of work from a chiropractor. So yeah, that was fun. Never been to a chiropractor before. Yay. Um, but wonderful. So it just took some time. So I do apologize uh, for my absence. Um, and there will be more details uh, that I post in a community post if you haven't already seen that. So I just wanted to, you know, say thank you for your patience um, when, as we work through this, you know, it's, it's the life that a creator goes through sometimes, you know, we've, we use both of our arms and our hands and um, we learn to finally be able to use one, but there's always a way that we can create. We just have to remember, sometimes we need to take a little break and make sure we take those um, breaks. So coming back slowly um, with lots more uh, card videos and many more journal videos. So stay tuned for those. You can see when it comes to the greenery, I've had greens and I'm also pulling in some aquas and blues to shade up those greens that I already have in place. So it's a lot of stenciling. You know, you would think that it wouldn't take that much, but it is six stencils um, and you can do a lot with them. You know, adding colors, adding deeper colors, shading um, and so forth. Do you need the stencils to color this image in? Absolutely not. Um, you can certainly use watercolors. You know, I used watercolor paper for this image to get that beautiful impression. Watercolors would have been absolutely gorgeous on this panel. So it is definitely up to you how you want to create your art. Took this panel. I'm using my liquid glue to adhere it onto the standard A2 size card base. And we're just going to grab one of those sentiments from the Better Press You Are Everything Sentiments Collection to finish off this card. You could add some gems, some pearls if you want, but I think the simplicity of the press and those colors just adds a lot to that card. So here are the two cards that we created cr today um, featuring the Yana Smith Cola Collection through Spellbinders called Let's celebrate. So beautiful florals as always. The products that I used will be listed down below in the video description. And also, if you have any questions, make sure you leave those down below as well. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't yet, I'd love for you to subscribe. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit that thumbs up and make sure you ring the bell and hopefully you'll be notified when the next video is ready for you to watch. Enjoy the art that you are creating, and most of all, enjoy the process. Have fun with it. Sit somewhere in a room, splatter some ink, splatter some paint, color with some pencils or alcohol markers or watercolors. Whatever you may have, I do apologize for that sound, whatever you may have, but just have fun with the process, and most of all, always. Be creative, guys, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Till then.